Well, AT&T. We didn't even make it a week. And I've tried to cancel services. You've hung up on me three times. Your uh, automated services hung up on me twice. And now your office is closed as of exactly one minute ago. Fuck you, AT&T. Oh, God, that feels good to say. So, yeah, I'll be canceling AT&T this week. And I think going phoneless. I don't need this kind of abuse. God damn it, AT&T. You suck. And what was the situation I was trying to inquire about? Well, I was told I'd be paying $85 a month plus taxes and fees. Okay. I was paying $70 and change over at uh, T-Mobile, period. That was it. 70 bucks a month. Now I was going to be paying, what, 90? Well, I figured the service might be better. I was getting more uh, for what I was paying for and whatever. I was getting rid of T-Mobile. So that was nice. Um, but, hmm, hmm, having just gone through what I went through with them on the phone, and this is day three of this, this isn't the last 15 minutes of my life, hold on, they're calling me back, I think, pause, I'm currently on hold with AT&T as they play me some classical music. That's Vivaldi in the background. Hmm. I'm sure that someone somewhere in the marketing department realizes that Vivaldi makes people tranquil. You know what else makes people tranquil? Not having a cell phone with AT&T. Oh, and this. Okay, so I didn't record my call with AT&T because I thought that might be illegal. But <laughs> the guy literally got back on the phone and told me, uh, our department is closed. This is information that I just gave to him. Are you fucking kidding me? No, oh, AT&T, the worst of team all ever has to put together. <sighs> okay, so here's the thing. I pretty much have figured out mathematically what the charges have to be because they admitted to a $35 activation fee, which they never told me about. But, of course, this is the kind of shit corporations pull. We expect this kind of shit. It's just fucking disappointing that they always do this. So here's 35 bucks that they're going to steal from me that they never told me about. Yeah, fuck you. But, of course you are. So that takes me to 120 plus taxes and fees, which I figure puts me somewhere right around 130 so how do I get to 158? Well, we know there's a $17.99, $18 a month fee on there for Asurion. And then he admitted that, so let's say that gets me to one, safely 148. Safely. There's no way it's more than that. So to get to 158, well, he told me, because I walked into AT&T on the 15th, and started my line, which means that I got a SIM card and walked out the door so I could go buy a phone. Didn't buy a phone for a week, but whatever. Wait, a week? It would have been Friday. No. When did I go get that SIM card? I went with my mom, so it must have been on a Tuesday. Ugh. Was it? Probably. So I get the SIM card on a Tuesday, and then I get the phone uh, six days later. But because I activated the SIM card on a Tuesday, I'm already paying for their billing cycle, which ends on the 15th. I am? Nobody told me that either. I thought my billing cycle would start the month as I walked in the door. But nope, 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 nope. So they prorated me charges of $6.65 from that, which to me means that I'd be paying 180 bucks a month if you prorated me one day. And yet, that all adds up to 158, right? That's how you get to a stupid bill of 158. And that's with 10 bucks in taxes and fee. So, 95 bucks for a service that's no better. Well, actually, it is better in my bedroom, so there is that. But is it 25 bucks a month better in my bedroom? No. Fuck AT&T. God damn it. 
I mean, we didn't last a week. This is like that Hollywood relationship where you're like, oh, they finally got together and then they're already getting divorced? Oh my God, whose fault is it? It's got to be both of them. No, nope, it's one of their fault. If it's this fast, one of them did something. <laughs> so anyway, dude with Indian accent gets back on the phone and says, oh, do you mind if, uh, because we are closed, if we call you back tomorrow? I'm like, and I'm not even like, this is exactly what the fuck I said. I said, uh, <laughs> that's the information that I just gave to you that you're now giving to me as if that's some sort of advancement of the conversation. Can you imagine how inspiring all of this is for me as a new customer? Yes, call me tomorrow. I can't wait to take that call. And literally, I can't wait to take that call. And I know I shouldn't record it, but I will, oh, I, I have a pretty good memory for conversation. I bet I can recall 90% of exactly what gets said. Pause. And here's the thing. Will I quit at and and go phoneless during the holidays? Fuck yes, I will. Who gives a shit? Like, you don't get to make the corporations realize what fucking scum suckers they are very often. So when the chance is there, grab it, grab it. Grab it like a rabbit that's high on Babbitt because she cut your penis off. That would be Lorena. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, boss. AT&T makes me reach for the hybrid weeds with the indica bent because I got to calm the fuck down. So that leads to penis lapping off R Lorena Bobbitt rants. Unintended though they are. I apologize. In a push for tranquility, what I'm going to do is talk about cheating on Madonna. How can you cheat on Madonna if you never met Madonna? Cheating Madonna? Oh, right. No, we're not going to talk about that. Study the no parent knowledge. The fuck does that even mean? Okay. Um, how about, should I tell you about my felony? No, nah, that's a dumb story. Uh, essentially, uh, stole from my employer Enterprise rent a car. They pressed charges. I begged for no jail time and signed papers for uh, admitting to felony burglary uh, one or two. Burglary two, I think it was. I don't even know. Which also included three hours, three hundred hours of community service, of which I did like twelve. So, I'm pretty sure I don't want to be going to Oregon anytime soon. Okay. Did not get on to talk about that. Why swearing is a paradox? Personally, I've already spoken about that a lot. Why do we fight? Okay. Why do we fight? And liars peppering in truth. <laughs> well, that's why we fight, because liars pepper in the fucking truth. Okay. Listen up. I say that a lot. I don't mean it. And I'm, I'm usually using that as an interjection to get myself back on track. Because I hear myself wandering, so I say listen up, as if to say pay attention to myself. And um, I have a few of those that are poor on my part because the true interpretation of listen up is as if you're not paying attention, come to bear here, when it's me telling myself that. But like I've said many a time, this is not about you, this is about me, and it's always about me, and this is whatever I'm going to do, and I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. So when I'm talking, or even handling my microphone, like whatever that uh, sounded like, which I'm sure sounded like shit, um, well, all right, I'm not here to ruin the listener experience, but I'm making a point. You can't be here for anything other than some sort of like pinball effect of inner thought that instead of bouncing off that little bumper, it bounces off that upper jet. Are those right terms for pinball? Am I pretty cool with pinball there? Probably. Probably. Well, I mean, nobody's cool with pinball. But, all right, pinball's pretty fucking cool. That said, if your pinball thoughts 
help you see the game clearer? Well, by all means. You know? Shit, man. Listening to me while you're high is probably okay. But other than that, and how much dope are you smoking? Too much? Should you be cutting back? Maybe. But if you... um are one to take things to extremes, well then of course I recommend you continue to use pot to its extreme because that is just fine. You will never go overboard on weed. <sighs> or mushrooms, as far as I know. But that's another conversation entirely. And so, speaking of conversations entirely, should we just rattle off really quick the things that, if you're not going to be okay with this, then never ever download, listen, stream, or even think about finding another episode of It's All My Fault. Because... All of this stuff is likely in, in gratuitous quantity, too. It's not like I even hold back like, oh, I'm so sorry, I should not have talked about drugs. Okay, I just did my top 10, top 10, like top 30 weeds from some list I made. I mean, shit, man, if I'm not talking about drugs, what am I talking about? Probably drugs. So, <clears throat> and when I'm talking about drugs, I am fucking talking about the fucking nastiest I don't have a word for drugs. It's like bullshittiest. But I'm talking fuck bullshit, swearing up a storm. <clears throat> Not because I'm disrespectful. Because I think the whole concept of swear words is disrespectful, period. But that's just me. It's all me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I yawn. There's no pause button for a yawn. Oh, there was last episode. But that was a first. Probably won't be another one ever. It's all about me, baby. And it, well, okay, that little top of the lister has to change because uh, it's not going to be all about me forever. And in fact, huh, in much the way that I was told it would evolve, I have a feeling it's going to expand beyond me. Um, exactly as necessary. I'll just leave it at that. So, until then, though, bleh, it's like do re mi. There is no dough except some cookie dough. And if there's ray, it's a sun ray because it's all about me. So, don't be looking for fa or la or da or pa. But pie, yes, there may be pie. There will be dogs snoring. There will be me sniffling, burping. Have I sniffled and burped? Have I snotted? Loogied? I've coughed. Expect it all and worse. Um, I've done everything you can possibly do that's foul on a recording. And I'm not even all that upset about it. So what do you think I'm going to do? Change that? Nope. So listen for those. Those are going to be there. But they're, they're not gratuitous by nature. They're just... I'm never going to stop talking about something that I think I'm rolling on because I'm about to fart. Neither should you, right? Um, so I've never definitely said that thought ever in the universe, ever, ever, ever. So she'd expect no inhibitions. I don't even, I'm embarrassed I said that. Like that was terrible. But it's out there, so now it's whatever. And I am what I am. I am who I am, and I will always be what I want and think is the best version of me that I can be. Because I don't ask all of that tolerance for nothing. I am respectful. Very, I hope. I think of myself as being very respectful. I think of myself as bringing a solutions-oriented outlook to things because when I have analysis that lets me know there are problems. I like to try to say this could solve them. To me, that's a good attitude. I always have a good attitude. I always want to be upbeat. I am never here to bring you down. I'm always here to think, well, what could we do to make today better? This year better? This life better? Our experience together better? So that's usually through self-reflection because what else do I have? Talking to myself, for Lord's sake. For Lord's sake. I thought we said God's sake around here. We do. But God, Lord, Lord God. Lordy, Lordy God, oh God. I also say a lot of shit I don't really um, think you should take seriously. <laughs> I mean, I say almost everything. 
in a way that you shouldn't take it seriously. But the things I say that I don't think you should take seriously are seriously things like God. I don't know what I think of God. I know what I think of Source. I know what I think of the infinite wisdom. I know what I think of the uh, Akashic Records. I know what I think of the idea of consciousness evolving inside the universe that is expanding to create enough occasion for consciousness to re-evolve. The self-fulfilling loop that it is to be part of this system when all you're doing is living in a decaying 3D, 4D reality body of 100 years roughly experience in what is chaos and hellfire, 8675-309-Earth. Well, yeah, it fucks up everything, right? You're so unmoored here. Everything's so... Huh. Quixotic. It's just, it's hard to be human. But you chose to be human because you have the goddamn metal to make it. You didn't come here thinking, well, I mean, I'm used to being just a squirrel gathering nuts, but I thought I would be a human and see what it's like to go to war with an AK-47. Well, it's not fun. That is not a good experience, but it'll change your view of what it matters in life. Unlike, say, watching this show where people are building things in Legos. What the fuck is this? Television is just... If your brain doesn't actually start dripping out of some orifice on your head while you watch this show, then you might be a lizard. So, again... I'm, I'm, uh, I have no inhibitions and I am not sponsored, looking to be sponsored by, or ever going to not say exactly what I think on anything. I used to lie. You will never hear me lie, exaggerate, or misspeak. I stand by what I say. I stand by everything I've ever said. I have said over 130 hours of nonsense. And I stand by every fucking word of it. There's no slip sliding around here. If I said something and I don't agree with it today, well, I'll tell you why my mind has changed. That is intellectual growth. So forgive me if I actually have evolved as a person. But no, I don't disregard what I used to say versus what I say today. I'm no Hillary Clinton. And I'm no Bill Clinton as I have spoken about many a time. But, I'm a crybaby. I haven't cried all month. This is December. This is the p month when even normal people get all weepy and weird. What happened here? Maybe I'm just exactly opposite the norm. I've always thought that's what Lily is. She was officially diagnosed with opposition defiance disorder. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> That is exactly what she fucking is. <laughs> oh, and she's like, even she, even when I said to her, I was like, you know, Lil, I gotta say, that one's got uh, a little bit of truth in it. She was like, yeah, I mean, okay, okay, maybe that one. But I'm not schizophrenic. <laughs> okay, whatever, Sheila. Um, oh, and, and listen to how slow I talk. Like, you should definitely be speeding up your machine. Get that motherfucker going. 2.0 is my recommendation, but, you know, it sometimes takes people a while to get there, but it shouldn't take you more than two episodes to get from 1.5 to 1.75 to 1.8 to 2.0. And once you're at 2.0, 2.25, why not? I don't talk fast enough to care. And I don't make a point uh, nearly often enough for you not to be speeding along. Because the last piece of advice I have, if you're going to listen to this, is don't listen. Why are you listening? Now, there will come a time when I will think, this one? You should listen to. But all of the previous ones up until right now, including this one, I have my doubts about. I don't have doubts about me listening to them, but I have my doubts about you listening to it. I always have. <laughs> Stop it, laptop. Hey, universe. I... I've been kicking this idea around for most of the morning, and I think I'm there. I think I may have watched my last porno, or porn period. I just, A, don't find it sexy, B, don't fucking need it, and C, it takes up a lot of hard drive space. 
I mean, if I just think about the amount of space that I could free up on my computers from purging all porn, or let's just say I get to keep 11 or even 19, but that's it. No further than 19 and 11 would be a gold star, but that's it. The rest gone, all of it. I haven't been on a porn website in years. And really, I don't need porn to jerk off. So what do I have the porn for? I'm not sure anymore. I used to have it because it was available. Now I have it, I think a little bit because I'm pathetic. Anyway, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because I think my Christmas present to myself will be deleting all porn out of my life. I mean, it's about time, right? Yes, right. Pause. <laughs> Wait, what?